Hey guys, Rob's random stuff here. Gonna do some shrimp, some wings today. Gonna start off, just gonna do a very light smoke on these shrimp because they're gonna cook so fast. Once we move to the shrimp, we use a lot more of those soaked wood chips. Probably running here. 880, 900, 950, it's hot. So these are not gonna take long. Right now I just have black pepper on these, that's it. Nothing else. Once we take these off the grill, I'll show you guys how we get the garlic and the butter on there. Really let it flavor soak in on these. They turn out delicious. These are 16, 20 shrimp. So about medium sized shrimp, not too big. Just the frozen ones you buy in the store. This time of year, they're not too uh, available. It's still early May, so the fresh ones are hard to come by. These will do just fine. Also along with a little flash frozen shrimp. In the end, Maybe not quite as delicious, but pretty close. Might not even be able to fit all these on here. They're gonna shrink. Get these on as quick as we can, because we're gonna be turning them before you know it. I got my wings marinating for 24 hours already. Just have garlic, ginger, salt, pepper, <clears throat> a little bit of Jamaican jerk. Let them sit for a solid two days in the fridge. Really let this absorb the flavor. Very important. All right, just get some of that shrimp water in there for some more flavor. I'm gonna cover these up. Before you know it, we're gonna have cooked shrimp and then I'll show you guys how to bag them up. Really instill that flavor and we'll throw the wings on. So stand by, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're just gonna flip these real quick. As you can see, they're already cooking away here. Again, they don't take long. We're really just gonna cook these about three quarters of the way through. Because when you put them in the bag to do the shrimp, you'll see they will continue to cook while absorbing all of the garlic flavor. So these are probably halfway done already. Already firming up. So I'll let you guys go here so you don't have to watch me flipping shrimp for 10 minutes. Let these cook and I'll uh, I'll bag them up in a couple minutes as soon as these are done. A couple minutes, so see you in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. These shrimp are done. So for probably two minutes per side, two and a half minutes. What we have here is some melted butter, tons of garlic. There's probably about 10 cloves of garlic in there, just rough chopped. Put them in the grill or in the uh, oven. Really just uh, heated up the butter just to infuse that flavor. I'm just gonna drop these in the bag. These are probably 90% of the way cooked. Like I said, they will steam and cook just a bit more. Oop, there goes one. So we don't wanna overcook shrimp because they will turn into rubber bands. Don't want that.
you don't need too much butter in there because it will coat them quite well once we shake it around and let it sit. Let me tell you, these things come out really good. I've had it a few times already. I always try to experiment before I make a video if it's something new. So I know it's tested and true. Because you got to eat it when it's done. Oop, there goes another one. No big deal. Okay, and these were 1620 shrimp, frozen. I'm gonna close the bag. It really, I can smell garlic through the bag even. It's crazy. You can see that. You can see that there. It's really good. Butter's really coating them up, garlic's coating them. So I'm gonna bring these in the house and I'll uh, do up the wings in a minute for you guys. All right guys, we're back here. Time to do the wings. Just gonna take this off for a second here. Gonna get our wood chips in here all around. Get the smoke going. Get these big ones on. I'm just not touching. Skin side down as much as possible. I'm going to render that skin. Get them nice and crispy. So these have been marinating for probably four, just about 48 hours. A lot of Jamaican jerk. The paste. It's really good stuff. Garlic, salt, pepper. Ginger, a little bit of turmeric, as you can see this is smoking up good with the smoke, using apple wood today, give it a little extra flavor. I'm going to be upgrading to a bit larger of a grill. So hopefully my next video will have that ready for you. Just going to continue on with the theme of cheap grill series for the summer though. Nothing extravagant. We're going to try to be under 75, maybe 80 bucks with the grill. Just to prove to people that you don't need the fancy stuff. Again, I'm not saying the fancy stuff doesn't do a great job, but do it on the cheap as well. Don't need the fancy stuff, you don't need to be rich to do good grilling. So we're smoking away really good here. So I'm gonna cover these up. I'd like to leave this about halfway open. Keep those coals nice and hot. Get the smoke going. And uh, we're going to check on them in a few minutes and see how they're looking. Alright guys, we're back. Let's see how these things are looking. It's probably been about five minutes. Looking really good already here. You can see they already have a nice smoke color to them. It's all we were looking for. We're not here, uh, we're not slow smoking all day long. Like in your traditional smoker, we're just trying to impart a little bit of flavor. That's really all you need. The smell is really, really nice. You do need to get another pair of tongs. These things are terrible. These are salad flippers. Other ones are in the house getting washed right now, so. As you can see, the, the wood in there is still smoking pretty good. Looking really good. Put smoke going. So uh, we're going to let these go for a bit longer. Give them another flip. 
Alright guys, we're back. These wings are done. It's probably been 20 minutes. I flipped them a few times while the video was off. Just to keep things moving along. But they're looking really good. Sweet, delicious. Crispy skin. They smell really good, I'll tell you that. And you can choose to put your favorite sauce on these after. They do have plenty of flavor already. I like to toss them in some of my favorite hot sauces. Some of my house still like them dry. Just with whatever I marinate them in, so I just leave them like this for now. As soon as I get them in, I'll plate them up and then uh, I'll toss them in my sauce. Everybody else can do what they want. These are going to be delicious. Alright, again, this is the Cheap Grilling Series, Summer 2020, Rob's Random Stuff. If you like my video, subscribe, leave comments, let me know what else you want to see. Get that going for you. Stay random. Peace.